Hello everybody. My name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent in Canterbury and in this video clip I want to discuss uh, the uh, concept of overall rate order and the unit of the rate constant. First of all, we need to be absolutely clear what rate order means. Rate order is just simply a mathematical concept that helps us to, to describe a chemical or biological reaction. A rate order does not indicate how many molecules react with each other. This would be the term molecularity. So rate order is just simply a mathematically uh, uh, approved concept. So let's just simply write a reaction. Let's say we have A plus B uh, plus C plus D, and this should give us a product P. Now we can write for this product P the general, the general rate equation. And we would say the change in P over time unit dp over dt equals. Now we are looking at the production of something, so it is positive. Positive, a rate constant, times. And now obviously p depends on the concentrations of a times b times c times D, concentration of D. And however, this is only a very special case. We can say the overall rate order, overall rate order is just simply the sum of all the individual uh, rate orders. So I can say, for example, it depends on a to the power of 1, maybe power of 2, maybe power of 1.5, and maybe power of 0 0.5. Here are, can't see that. Let's, let's do it power of 1 here. So the overall rate order, we would say, is the sum of the individual rate orders. So that would be 1 plus 2 plus 1.5 plus 1. And that gives 5.5. So the overall rate order of this reaction is a 5.5 rate order with a first order for A, a second order for B, with a 1.5 order for C, and a first order for D. And we can really do that for any kind of uh, reaction, any kind of um, reaction that we can write as a um, general rate law expression. So here, for example, dP over dt uh, equals K positive k times a to the power of 2, b to the power of minus 1.5, c to the power of 1, and d to the power of 0. So the overall rate order for that would be, so overall rate order would be 2 minus 1.5 plus 1 plus 0, and that would give us an overall rate order of 1.5. So that's our overall rate order. But what about the units that uh, we are looking at here? That's a big problem for a lot of people. Let's look at a very basic reaction. So for example, we have dP over dt equals k times a to the power of 0. So that will be a zero order reaction. Now we want to find out the unit for our rate constant. So how do we do that? Well, we can very simply rearrange this equation for the units. So we know 
that P, that is usually given as a concentration, concentration, so that's our P, over time. That's this guy here, equals K times, and A, again, is given as concentration. concentration to the power of zero. Now, anything to the power of zero gives us one, so we can ignore that, and we have concentration over time equals k. Ah, and that is our unit for this k. So it would be, for example, millimolar per minutes. Let's have a look at another example. We have dp over dt equals k times a to the power of 1. So it's a first order reaction. And what we want to do is find k, the unit. So we know dp over dt, that would be concentration, concentration per time. That's this part here, that's always the same, equals K times concentration to the power of 1. Now, this stays here, concentration to the power of 1. So all I need to do is I, I divide by concentration and bring that to the other side. So I get K equals concentration per time divided by concentration. That's this one that I bring to that side. Concentration cancels out. So all I have left is 1 over time. And I can even write that in a more uh, general form, I can write this as uh, dp over dt, that's my general rate law, times k, the rate constant, and then here the concentration to the power of the overall rate order. So I don't have to do it for each single one, I can do it for the overall rate order. And in this case, I can just simply solve this, and I can say we have concentration, concentration over time, that's here this dp over dt, equals k times concentration uh, to the power of, let's say, m. And now I bring that to this side, and I have then concentration divided by time times concentration to the power of m, that's my k, and I can even uh, cancel one concentration, so I can write it would be 1 over time times concentration to the power of m minus 1, m minus 1, and that would be my rate order. Uh, the, the, that is my, sorry, that's my unit for the rate constant for basically any kind of um, overall rate order. I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.